Hey, you there? Whoa, what is going on? Listen, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but this scene is pretty damning. Hey, why don't we just, uh, step away from there and just talk for a minute? Okay, now please talk to me. What happened? You did what? Hmm. I see. And now... Okay. I see what's happening now. No, I'm not... <sighs> I'm not pretending to know how you're feeling. I wouldn't do that to you. We've known each other long enough to know that I've never been in your position before. But you're my best friend, and you should know that I just want to help you. Will you just let me help you? Okay, thank you. Now, the first thing we gotta clear on is this. No matter what mistakes you've made, you deserve better than what I just saw. Nobody in the history of anything deserved that. I understand that you feel like you do. I know it hurts now. But it won't hurt forever. How long has it been since this all went down? Okay. So, look at it this way. You're still here. You survived 100% of your worst days. That's a hell of a track record. You haven't given in yet. You know you can keep going. So you know you can keep going. Yes, you're going through hell. And it's worse because you made it. But you're not the only one who's done that to themselves. Everyone makes mistakes. We're all just doing the best we can out here. It's not like you woke up one day with the intention of hurting someone. The person you love. Or suddenly decided to just throw all away of your own standards and values. What I'm saying is that this is not a reflection of your overall personality. It just proves that you're human. And no, you might never have been forgiven. But that doesn't mean you aren't worthy of forgiveness. It doesn't mean that the entire trajectory of your life is suddenly a downward spiral into a pit of bleakness. Do you understand? No, you shouldn't be over it by now. There is no timeline on healing. In fact, time is the only thing that's going to make it better. And nobody else has the right to dictate how much time you need. That schedule has to come from your own heart. And speaking of your heart, that is what ultimately needs to heal. But in order to do that, you can't be shutting out everything and everyone. Let yourself feel everything. Don't try to bury or ignore the hurt, the anger, the frustration, the anguish, the despair, any of it. Let it all in so you can face it, so you'll know that it won't kill you. Your heart is stronger than you realize. Let it all in until you feel like it's going to implode. Then start over, then start over by picking up the broken pieces. Hey. Hey, none of that now. This is what friends are for. Even if you screwed up, I promise this isn't going to change our friendship. I'm here whenever you need me. Whatever you decide to do, I'll support you. You want me to yell at you? I'll do it until my throat is raw. You want me to hold you? I'll do it even after I lose feeling in my arms. You want me to buy you every fried food and dessert in the county? I'll empty both our bank accounts, but what I will not do is sit back and let you think you're worthless, or that your existence is inconsequential. I'll help you through this, and when we reach the other side, I promise you'll be stronger and better for it. You don't have to make any big decisions right now. Once you're feeling better, we can focus on making positive changes together.
will turn your wounds into wisdom. But right now, the only decision I want you to make is the decision to keep going. To keep existing despite the pain. To be stronger than the pain. To realize that you are more than the sum of your parts. And that your life is more than just your bad decisions. Can you do that? At least for today. Then we can tackle it again tomorrow. And the day after. One day at a time. We'll get through this. I promise.